It will be a charge of defeat. Yes. If God saw tonight, if we ain't ready. So I'm going to return to him yeah. before he returns. Before Jesus returns. I want to make sure I've got it right with him. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. When the Lord began to speak some things in reference to come and let us return unto him, it is a universal cry. Yes. He is not just talking about some of us, but all of us. In some form of fashion, many in, in throughout Christendom have lost out. Or they have fallen short of falling away from their devotion and their uh, connection that they had with God. Look like to me, uh, it is something there that has caused many in the church world to draw back. They don't want as much of God as others want God. Yep, yep, yep. And I was looking at uh, Jesus himself and, and the only uh, the captain son of God. He, he, he was more than just the prophet. He was more than just uh, the Messiah. Uh, the rabbi of uh, the chief physician. He, he, he was the son, the begotten son of God. Now, the read the Bible called the begotten son of God because God got a lot of sons. But I is one that God has called the promised son. Yes. Yes. He, 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 he brings Jesus in, and, and here Jesus comes in and he is confronted. He is confronted about his assignment and what he is doing in the earth realm because many did not uh, want to accept him or to embrace him. Even when he came in his physical form into the earth realm, the Bible said even of his own did not want to receive him. Yes, yes. Jesus came with one purpose in mind. He had his father's agenda. Yes. Come on. His, his father's agenda. Yes. And, and that's all he was about. He said, I come to make myself of no reputation. Yes. Yes. I have one agenda that I'm dealing with. That's my father's agenda. So he goes on to say, this. I'm here about my own father's agenda. That when you hear me. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear me, you hear the Father. And when you see me, you see a reflection. You, you see the God in me. So he had his father's agenda. And anytime someone have your father's agendas, then the, the forces of hell cannot stop you until the agenda is completed. See, Jesus said, you can't take my life. Because I'm about my father's business. I'm not about my own, but I'm about my father's agenda. And since I have my father's agenda, then every force of hell has to back up off of me. And even though they try to capture me, but even my life, I don't, I'm not subject uh, to you, but I just uh, come unto you because it was spoken by the prophets of what should take place. But if I want to keep my and the Bible says that Jesus moved on in life. Great things happened because he was about his father's agenda. Yes, yes. It is, it is my, it is my agenda to be about my father's business. Many folks may not believe this, but the preacher has a their responsibility yes. regardless of the opposition and all of that that's against the preacher all that fights the 
the preacher. All that attacks the preacher. The preacher can't fold up and curl up and go under the rock because of the fact he got an attack on his life. The preacher has to be to the point that if I'm about my father's agenda, then Satan can't take me out of here. Yes. And here it is, Lord begin to say, let us return. Let us return unto the Lord. Now, in the Old Covenant, under the Old Covenant, it is prophesied by the prophets Jesus is coming. In the New Covenant, New Covenant, it says, he's here. Yes. 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 <laughs> Revelation says he coming again. But if he come this time, I want to be ready. Yes, yes. So before he return, I want to return. Yes, sir. Many, many folks today. Uh, 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 I can that's told that, 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 that Jesus is not going to return. We, we live our lives as though that it, it is just a talk. It is just something being said. But he is going to return. Yes, he is. And, and, and some of you may not understand this, but this whole thing about the gospel, this whole thing about the things of God in this Bible, this whole thing is all about a wedding. Yes, 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 yes. This whole thing is about a wedding. Yes, yes. Come on. The bride crew. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, yes. It's coming back yes. for his bride. Yes. And guess what? You need to tell the bride that's sitting by you. I won't be left out here. He's coming back for me. And I'm getting ready to meet him. I'm getting ready to wait for him. I'm going to be ready for him. Friends, I'm, 
I'm losing co-workers. I'm losing neighbors. Am I talking to anybody here? It's the same way it is with God. Now, we done got to the place. It costs too much to do this for God. Look at you, wife. Look at you, husband. Look at the children. Always want to go to church. It costs too much. You're paying a price. Look at the other folks. Do what they want to do. And you isolate yourself with God. God is saying, I need you to return. I want, he's in the beginning, mm-hmm. in relationship, yeah. we're just laughing. He's in the beginning of your first love. Yes. And look how we testify. He has made me glad. Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. Okay, now that ain't in the Bible. <laughs> he has made me glad. Yeah. He has made me glad. He's 
are going to revive. I'm going to bring a lie again. I'm going to bring it alive. But he told them, he said, I'm going to revive you. I'm going to revive. I'm going to stir. Which, which means I'm going to fan the fire. Okay, okay, y'all don't want this. I'm going to, I'm going to fan the fire. Okay, y'all know what I'm talking about. See, some of you, some of you have been through so much in life. And what you have been through, it has caused you to be torn. But now you want to just stand back. You don't want to get involved. Some of y'all been torn with relationship and situation. Some of y'all been torn with financial situation. And then watch this here. When you are torn and sometimes what you got left. Something that is left. It is called the residue. Amen. Because this has almost took you out and it's all you got left. Come mm. on now. Many times when I was way, way back in the country, when we made a fire, and when the fire, the, the, the wood and whatever the content was, <coughs> had burned and burned and burned, went through whatever it had to go through, something was left. Call ashes. Sometimes we can go out and look at the, the place of burning and we see the smoke. We see the ashes, but no fire. But my daddy used to tell us years ago, fan it, son, fan it. 